Hey guys, it's JD from Ponzo World, and today we're unboxing and reviewing this autoscope made by GCR. Now this is a $70 autoscope that you guys can find on Amazon. Links will be down below this video if you want to go pick this thing up. Now also on Amazon, this thing has 26 reviews with an average of about 4.7 stars. So it seems like pretty much everybody that has bought this thing seems to like it and thinks it worked pretty well from what I can tell. So. Let's go ahead and just uh, start with showing you around the box. See here on the top or the front says digital autoscope, a little picture of what it looks like and really nothing on the sides, but on the back we have the Amazon label right there and then some FCC labels and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and open it up and I think this pulls out and yeah, it should just open up. And yep, we have a little thing here and here it is. Nice white color, I like that. Looks pretty good. That's where the uh, camera connects right up there. Then the charge port and stuff should be under here. I get this little flap open, I'll do that in a little bit here. Actually, there we go. And it comes with a uh, 32 gigabyte micro SD card included also. And then your USB uh, C uh, charge port is under there too. Let's go see what else we have in the box. We have some attachments for cleaning out wax and stuff. Pretty cool. We also here have a uh, manual telling you how to use it. And then we have uh, some more attachments here. And I think this is actually the camera portion and yeah, it is. And then here is the uh, charger and some more attachments, and things like that. Looks like some uh, cotton swabs here, probably with alcohol in them to clean off the uh, tip of the camera. And so there it is, nothing else in the box. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn this thing on, maybe give it a charge if it needs it, uh, figure out how it works and go ahead and I guess demonstrate it. All right, so what I'm going to do now is go ahead and put up a picture that was taken from this thing. And in my opinion, it actually looks pretty decent, um, especially for the price point of this thing. now. When you're not inside of like an ear or wherever, if you're like just having this thing like on a table and you have the camera on, uh, this thing looks absolutely terrible. It's totally pixelized and stuff. But when you get into like a close up, it's actually really good quality. So that kind of surprised me. Um, I believe the owner's manual said this thing is one megapixel. So I wasn't expecting it to do very well, but it actually did better than what I expected. So. Um, now, since I showed you guys the picture, I'm just going to go over the uh, different functions of this thing. So first of all, to turn it on, you just simply press and hold the power button here. Digital inspection camera pulls up on the screen. And first of all, to uh, let's go ahead and go over the different light settings. So, uh, well, I can't really show this on camera since it's going to be looking at me. I guess I could just do it this way. Okay, so to turn up and down the brightness, you have to press this button here. And you see that uh, slowly brings down the brightness, right? Or the uh, LEDs right here. So basically brightness. So that's pretty cool. You can adjust that, which I do really like. Obviously, if this is inside of a ear or something, you're not going to have any light inside of there. So this is a very handy uh, function. Also, to take a picture, you press this button right here. And this is, I believe, to, yes. Yeah, so this is to actually zoom you press up, which is pretty cool. And then I believe this button, yeah, this button just flips the screen, which is pretty interesting. Uh, also, you have OK. Now, if you press OK, that actually freezes the frame. So if you want to look at something and don't want it to be moving around, just press OK and it will pause the video or photo right there. So that is very nice. Let's go and set this thing down. You also have your uh, settings right here, which you could change resolution, timestamp and shutter sound. And you also have auto power off, language, date, time, format, default settings, and version. So that's all the different settings there. I guess uh, let's go and see what's inside of resolution. So you, okay, you only have one resolution setting right there. And then you also have timestamp, which you could uh, turn that on or off. You also have shutter sound on or off and uh, auto power off, which you can turn off five minutes or 10 minutes, which is pretty cool language. 
all sorts of different languages there. And now let's go and press English, date and time, which you can set. And let's get out of that. Do you have to press this? Yeah, there we go. Then you have format, which is, I believe, just to format the SD card, which is included, and I believe that is 32 gigabytes, which is pretty cool. And then you also have default settings, which is just to reset it, and version, which is just the version uh, number, firmware version, and the model number too, so that's pretty cool. So there we are. Uh, you also have the M button, which changes between the different modes. Now we have video here, which you can in fact take a video from this thing, which is pretty nice. And to start recording, by the way, you just press this button here and it starts recording the video. Let's go and stop that. And then the other mode button, this is to go through your different photos and your different videos that you've already recorded. And then if you press that again, it just goes right back to the uh, photo vote photo mode sorry so you have photos you have videos and then you can basically do a playback and see your different photos and your videos and so on so uh pretty cool um i would say it functions pretty well video footage or sorry photo footage i guess you could say uh is pretty decent too it kind of surprised me again um and you guys can kind of see like this thing just sitting on a table i mean it, it's totally blurry you can't see anything but it only it only has good quality when it's a close-up so I'd say for the price, this thing seems pretty solid. So I guess what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and stop this clip and I will give you guys my final opinions. All right, so overall, what do I think of this autoscope? I would say for the price, it seems pretty solid. Now, of course, the main thing here is how do the photos look? And as I said previously, I think they look pretty good. Definitely tell uh, me, your guys' opinions in the uh, comment section. I'd be interested to see what you guys think of the uh, photo footage. Um, and in terms of functionality, I mean, it does a good job. You can take photos from it, you can take videos. Um, I also really like that it has the little uh, light on the end here, that is pretty handy. Um, and I really also like that. You can also turn it down, which that is also really handy, or you can bring it up. Um, so I think that is pretty cool. You also have a bunch of different things included. You have all these picks here to maybe get any earwax or something like that out, which is pretty nice. And then in here you have assortment of different hooks and stuff, which one of these hooks was on the end here. I just put it on there just to, I guess, try it out. And so that's what you saw in one of the uh, pictures previously. And you also have your included alcohol wipes. I'm, I mean, there's only two, so it's only gonna last you twice, but hey, it's whatever. It is still a, a nice little bonus. And then you also have these little tips here to go into your ear, which is also pretty cool. So it comes with a lot of stuff in the box and it seems to work pretty well. So I do definitely recommend this if, you're, if you are looking for a pretty cheap uh, price-wise autoscope that seems to work pretty well. So. There it is. And also before I go and stop this, uh, go and stop the video, I'm gonna turn this thing off and I'm going to pull out the SD card here just to make sure it is 32 gigabytes. And by the way, this is included. And yep, 32 gigabytes right there. Pretty cool. So you will definitely not need to put in a, uh, I mean, you could put in a higher capacity SD card. I believe it takes like up to 128 gigabytes. I might be wrong about that though. Um, but you could put in a higher capacity if you wanted to, or you just use the included one. You also have your USB charge port uh, down here, USB-C. And then just to show you, this is the back of the, you have your reset button, uh, speaker hole, I would assume, or maybe it's a microphone. And then you also have like a little uh, tripod mount thing right there, if you want to call it that. Probably to mount it onto a wall. I believe it says something about that in the... Uh, manual so there it is i would say for the price it seems like a pretty solid autoscope and i would definitely recommend it if you're in the market for one of these so um yeah i guess that's really it for this video hope everybody enjoyed and don't forget to like and subscribe i'll see y'all next time goodbye